Good morning, everyone. Welcome to Ainsley News. Crypto Tuesday. Ripple today. Haven't heard for a while from those guys, but XRP is on a roll. Currently reaching new highs in light of the bullish crypto market. However, this begs the question, is the SEC done with Ripple? First, let's recap on what the SEC Ripple situation is, especially for those that haven't been poking around in it for a while. XRP's parent company, Ripple, was in a lawsuit trouble ever since the SEC opened up a case against the global payments company. It accused Ripple of offering unregistered securities up to the amount of $1.3 billion starting in 2013. The dispute, which began in December last year, has ended up nowhere but has done much to damage XRP's reputation. The resolution of the case will likely occur in early 2022, unless further delays push the timeline even further. Given that 96% of all SEC cases agree on a settlement before a trial, this seems to be a likely outcome, especially due to the negative effects of Ripple and XRP. Until then, it cannot move forward with, this, with its initial public offering. The SEC, however, have been stalling on multiple fronts to weaken Ripple's position, but it is also highly concerned that any judgment for Ripple could create serious problems for the Howey test, which helps determine what can be considered a security. Others feel that this is a natural step in the right direction for cryptocurrencies and suggest that a new Ripple test should be adopted that could help test for securities versus currencies using a guideline that would make more sense for crypto projects. The demand for a Ripple test is evolving whether the SEC case wins or not. The conversation has moved beyond the SEC, not only because its credibility has been shaken by its startlingly bad arguments in the pre-trial phase. There is a growing recognition that the treatment of XRP by the SEC has come to symbolise the US government's fundamental misunderstanding of cryptocurrencies, decentralised ledgers and blockchain technology, and what they mean to the global economy. It looks like XRP will play a role in defining the future of the global economy. This case is important for the crypto community as a whole and may determine whether the US plays a prominent role in crypto's future or if it's totally left behind. If Ripple loses, it would suggest several key possibilities. Firstly, that if XRP is a security, then Ethereum may fall under the same scrutiny next. And in fact, any token may incur the judgment of the SEC, even after five, 10 or more years. This type of uncertainty is bad for markets and the effect would be felt throughout the crypto market. Second, that the US as a nation will live with the result of this decision. And if Ripple is ruled against, the US will not be seen as a leader in the crypto industry. Instead, investments will find homes in more stable markets leaving the US and its residents out of key growth. One reason why Ripple needs to follow through with the lawsuit has been because its biggest competitor, SWIFT, the Society, or the Society for Worldwide Internet, Interbank Financial Telecommunication, or SWIFT, does large-scale transactions across 11,000 financial institutions in more than 200 countries. Ripple needs to make sure global banks, treasuries, etc. want to work with them. Resolving the case and gaining a compliant status with regulators is the only way. The controversy led to a big dip in the token's price, but now the token is going up at a fast pace. This week alone, the token has risen 60%. Spurred by the market uptrend recently, XRP's unique feature as a token are contributing a lot to its growth. Ripple is also benefiting from new development in the lawsuit from the SEC. Over the weekend, the SEC refused to hand over evidence discovery documents to Ripple's defence team. To add to this, it seems that the lawsuit has gotten Ripple more media attention. As such, the company successfully converted PR into a marketing success. It got the, success, it got the support of many important firms. This includes GME Remittance, one of the largest non-bank remittance services providers in South Korea, which joined Ripple's RippleNet before this, Japan's money transfer provider SBI Remit also teamed up with mobile payment services Coins.ph and SBI VC Trade Exchange to carry payments from Japan to the Philippines through Ripple. This landmark case has a lot riding on it, many twists and turns ahead, and is a drama worth watching closely. If Ripple are successful in the defence, the results will flow into XRP and the greater crypto market with great effect. Some nice crypto news there about Ripple. And XRP. If you are interested in buying any Ripple today, jump over to ainsleywealth.com.au and buy that instantly. Still after the physical stuff, jump over to ainsleybullion.com.au. Remember our real offices that you can drop in and buy 
be careful of COVID restrictions in your area, of course, uh, our Brisbane and Melbourne offices. And if you haven't yet checked it out, check out goldsilverstandard.com. It's our own gold and silver backed stable coin, uh, backed by real gold and real silver and stored at Reserve Vault in Brisbane. Enjoy your Tuesday, everyone. And we'll catch you tomorrow for more news.